Hello and welcome to my latest video. In this video, I'm going to share with you details of a project that I have been working on for the past few weeks. It's a inexpensive digital signal generator based on a module that utilizes the AD9851 chip and an Arduino Pro Mini. I am using the KTM1201 LCD and a rotary encoder and it's a pretty straightforward and inexpensive overall project. The signal generator itself is easily available on eBay or AliExpress for less than ten dollars. The Pro Mini again it's you know you can pick one up for a couple of dollars or a bit more and the LCD display again is just a few dollars. So within fifteen to twenty dollars you can have a cheap but reasonable performance digital signal generator. So let's have a look at how this works. I will share the wiring diagram and the uh, Arduino code in the links below. Uh, so let me just power this unit up. You can see as soon as I power it up uh, on my oscilloscope you can see that I'm generating a almost a 5 kilohertz signal and if you look at my LCD display it says 5.00 uh, which is 5 kilohertz so and over here we have just some lights on so the rotary encoder basically simply when I rotate it clockwise it's going to increase the frequency and as you can see it's increasing one step at a time and over here, if you have a look at the oscilloscope, you can see the frequency increasing as well. Now if I wanted to increase the frequency at a higher rate, all I have to do is click the rotary encoder. You can see it's telling me that now it's going to increment by step 10. And as I increment, you can see that increasing 10 hertz at a time and the same thing on the oscilloscope you can see me increasing the frequency now I can click on the rotary encoder one more time and I change the step to 100 click it again it's changed to 1000 click it again it's now 10,000 which is 10 kilohertz so let's just try that so you can see that I am increasing the frequency that the signal generator is generating. Let's just change the setting on my oscilloscope. You can see I'm still getting a pretty good sine wave. Let's increase that even more. So I'm up to about 120, 135 kilohertz. Now let's try and see if you can jump in one more step so one more step and now I'm going to be jumping substantially higher frequencies this is 100 kilohertz per step and finally if I press the encoder one more time that's the maximum number of steps that I can increase which is one megahertz at a time and you can see they're making huge jumps so just the oscilloscope again I will look at the quality of the sine wave I don't notice that the sine wave actually just does jump about I think that's just a limitation of the 89851 itself or the implementation of this module. So I'm doing about 9 megahertz right now. I'm going to steadily increase this. So let's take it up to 25, 30. So I've got a 30 megahertz. And if I turn the rotary encoder the other anti-clockwise, I'm going to decrease the frequency 
as expected. There we go. Let's keep doing it. And if I click after one more time, it's actually reset it to one step at a time. I'm just going to do it to one kilohertz at a time. So let's have a look at the frequency. You can see the wave form changing. So that's it really for now. I just wanted to share this with you. I'll share the wiring diagram and the code for this. I uh, hope it's useful to somebody. Uh, next step, I'm going to try and put this into an enclosure so that I have a working signal generator. Uh, thank you very much.